Good day grade 11s, welcome to week 31. We're carrying on with probability and today we're looking at dependent and independent events. So let's talk about it. If an event can occur only if a previous event has happened, then we call this a dependent event. So for example, if your mom tells you can only have your dessert if you eat all your veggies, then that's a dependent event. You only get dessert if you have all your veggies. That's dependent. An independent event can occur even if another event has not happened. So for example, in other words, the probability of one event occurring does not affect the probability of this other event occurring. So for example, if a coin is tossed twice, um, you could either get a head or a tail, or you could get two tails or two heads, you don't know. Or if you guess two multiple choice answers, the second multiple choice answer is not dependent on the first one. There's no pattern, each one is individual. So that's an independent event. Independent events are easier to calculate. So what we do is to check if something is dependent or independent. We calculate to see if it's independent. If that's the case, then great. If it's not independent, then it's dependent. So the calculation we use, the definition is, if two events A and B are dependent, if and only if the probability of A and B equals the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. Let's go through it again. The probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. And in order to really understand this, we're going to do an example. So we've got a bag which contains five red balls. Let me see what this is. Five red balls and five green balls. We remove a random ball from the bag. We note its color and then we return it to the bag. We then remove another ball and note its color. Right, so now the first question is, what is the probability that the first ball is red? Well, we've got five red balls and we've got five green balls. So therefore, the probability that the first ball is red is five out of ten, which is a half. Right, happy with that? Now it says, what is the probability that the second ball is green? Well, the second ball doesn't know that the first ball has been pulled out, okay? So again, and you've returned all the balls back to the bag. So therefore, we've still got five red balls and five green balls, which means our probability is now going to be five out of ten, which is a half, right? Now it says, what is the probability that the first ball is red and the second ball is green. Well then what we would do for the probability the first is red and the second is green is 5 over 10 times by 5 over 10 which is 25 over 100. Let me write this as a fraction so you understand what's going on. It's 5 over 10 times by 5 over 10 which is 25 over 100 which equals a quarter or we could have just gone a half times a half. So the probability that the first ball is red and the second ball is green happens to be a quarter. Now it says, is the fact that the first ball is red and the second ball is green an independent, is it an independent variable? Let's have a look, an event. So the definition says that the probability of A and B has to equal the probability of A and the probability of B. I mean, probability A times by probability of B to make this an independent event. So the first, the probability of the first ball is being read is a half. There we go. The probability of the second ball being, uh, being green is a half. There we go. Therefore, the probability of the first being red and the second being green is what we worked out here, which was 5 over 10 times by 5 over 10, which is 25 over 100, which is a quarter. And since a half, so this here is that, the probability of A and B. Okay, but then since a half times a half equals a quarter, we can see these events are independent. So that grade 11 is how you prove if events are dependent or independent. And you need to make sure that you understand how to do this so you can answer questions in future tests and examples. Please practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.